for almost 300 years, the great authoritarian immortal dragon lord Alvin has ruled over the material realm of Silvernell. His fear of the water has kept him above the Silver Seas, yet he found an alliance with the evil mermaids of Eudothia to carry out his bidding. Over the years, the Genasis of the underwater kingdom of Azir have narrowly fought back the mermaids thanks to its just ruler, King Thrine, and his daughters. But times are changing. Olivine has died. The world of Silvernell is reborn. This is the story of a kingdom after war. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Adventure of Silverdale. Princess of Power, Camping 4. You don't know this, but we've recorded this like three or four times now because the audio was off. Welcome back. Okay, we're playing with four of my good friends. Alyssa is no longer with us. She is moving to a different current in the ocean, and we are bringing in a new ta uh, oh. player, Tanner Messer. But Vinfira will live on. We love Alyssa. She did such great work here today, and Vinfira is going to be very important. So, mwah, love you. Okay. I, and then we have another campaign into the expanse. Go back and watch our other videos at the very beginning. We explain all this. We've already done this. I want to get into it. Last time on episode 21, <laughs> Mizu Finfira, Arista Seer, Celia, and Mike Unerseth bound House Pelagor and the Azirian Kingdom together through diplomacy. In return, Might traded his adorned submergible water vessel to the princesses. With it, they took to the northern current en route to Eudothia. Princess Vinfira, meanwhile, spent three days undergoing a transformation to shed her body of the diplomat to make room for a fighter. She finally awoke as her soul was rebound and she stood visually different, but still the same loving sister the princesses know. Their, mess their vessel was then ambushed outside the seaweed thicket by dark green merfolk warriors and water casters. The princesses made quick disposal of them and saw their vessel had been destroyed in the fight. Right now, currently, it remains on the fence, and I'll be more specific this time. There's, like, alarms going off. You know, the magic from the propulsion is, like, going through the ship. Um, it remains on the fritz, but they found loot on the merfolk that suggests they belong to a rebellious faction of Eudothia that they call the Secret Sirens. This vessel has lost the arcane propulsion, but it is still carried forward in this current. And the sisters are inside the vessel that's moving in the current, and we can see outside the current that the ocean is passing by and this massive never-ending wall of the seaweed thicket is now becoming, in a moment, not yet, parallel. So you're heading almost right to the corner where the current's going to turn, meaning you are at the border to Eudothia and you're going to start going sideways parallel to it to leave, to go further north. Welcome back. Well, that was a uh, kind of a kind of annoying, uh, and also a very expected welcome from the Yudothians. I don't like that they got away. I like that they ran away. I don't. I, I don't like they got away as well. Yeah. Except this one. Points them a little fungal, merfolk. I don't know what it looks like, but I got one. It's like uh, uh, one of the merfolks, but like it's grown roots out of it because these merfolk have tails. So it's like the it's grown roots out the side that like carry it and it uses its tail and this and its root to like walk as like mushrooms grow up its side and out its neck. That's my style. Mm. Uh, Arista, I'm sorry about your boat. Uh, I know we you can, like your. We can attached. fix it though, right? Can Can you fix it? We no, is a I strong just, word. I just I just have the utmost confidence in my sisters. Scott, can I fix it? <laughs> you got a book on this, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you easily, you pull out your book and um, to read it all this time, um, roll me uh, an arcana check because you're going to pass 
the other one, and I know you'll find it, but the mm -hmm. magic that's inside the propulsion, that is the propulsion, that's what you're looking at, that chapter. Oh, okay. Um, 23. She's a good witch. I'm a good um, witch. Yes, the the structure inside with coral can be rebuilt, but it's got to be like hand carved. That part is broken. It's kind of like a magically imbued item. Once that breaks, it can't be made a magical item again. So this will have to be ended completely and destroyed and rebuilt and recast. Otherwise, it's just going to putter. Mm -hmm. Is that magic that I can learn to do? There is a spell in the book that is the magic of this, but it starts the beginning and then it's faded into the page. And because mm -hmm. you have such an arcana st strung check right now as you're looking at you see it's got some sort of um, transformation magic on it. Okay. Um, can I make out enough to see if there are any other like material components that mm -hmm. i would need you know how like people do the recipes on the websites like kind of like the story it's like the story starting into the spell and then it fades which means like the chunk that's important is kind of towards the bottom or the middle mm -hmm. okay well is there enough to make an educated guess you i mean there's nothing on the page Arista can try to make an uh, educated guess. Oh, that, that's mean, what I mean. Like, is there enough context provided that she could say, well, it would probably make sense if this hole was filled with this, etc. Well, you can't rebind the pieces that broke, so you'd have to carve new pieces. Okay, so I need to. we need to obtain new coral. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't know if I coral. could... Since it was transformation, I didn't know if I could literally break this down and it'd be rebuilt. Oh, sorry. The spell uh, on the paper is hidden with transformation magic. Oh. Uh, okay. That makes way more sense. Yeah. Sorry, I did not understand that. <laughs> okay. Can I cast a spell magic on it, please? Yes, you can, and it reveals <laughs> itself. <laughs> <laughs> you cast this Educated, light. Yes, I'm going to cast this spell. <laughs> That's it. It kind of just fades up from the side, the magic, and folds like a page and dissipates when it hits the other side. And uh -oh. it's going to reveal the coral structure and like the what they believe is the inner workings of coral that connects to this magic, which makes it actually quite easy. You don't have to be a super high level caster, so that's promising. Um, but it will list um, these exotic materials that are you can't find them in a regular market. In fact, you don't really know um, lawful good people or a lot of good people that would go to the markets that sell these items. I don't raise my hand because I don't need to. Uh, you know, Dothy's got a, some shady things. Shady things. Maybe we can find some more coral that would be appropriate to replace our propeller engine thing. They might even have a cooler boat. That's mm. possible. Uh, we just, Blue then, Cassio uh, is here and he redeemed a random problem. Who did? Yeah. Blue Cassio. You know, good old good old Jess. <laughs> um who's got who's got high passer perceptions as you're all looking I think mine's every, eighteen every right now. This book. Nineteen. Ooh. Men's a 12. <laughs> I'm a high 8. A high 8. Um, <laughs> Arista, as you're all looking at this book and you're looking up at everybody explaining, you know, talking about what you're saying, you see in between Mizu and Celia that are looking this way at the other side of the vessel towards where the propulsion is broken, um, Venfira is just standing there, or uh, floating there, I guess I should say swimming there, um, just looking exhausted, but looks like she's listening. And you see light radiating from her back, and about five to ten feet a j behind her and to the side a little bit, you just say, see, something ends in visibility, and it's that merfolk. And that th light behind Vinfira grows bigger, and you see through it, and you see the thicket everywhere, and it's uh, that merfolk 
that just the end of the invisibility swims around as Venfira looks and turns right in the gut and you see Venfira and her fly into that thicket through that light portal. And you just see Venfira put her hand out to you and uh, say, a wrist, and you see her mouth make the uh as she goes into the seaweed. Oh, we can't hear you. I see your mouth moving. I'm gonna go after her. Okay, you, you swim through everybody as everyone turns and looks at what's happening, and you swim into this uh, seaweed. It's just everywhere, and roll a uh, constitution saving throw. I start following Arista. Where's she going? Okay, you yeah, turn yeah, time. Thirteen. Like, oh fuck, here we go, and follows it then. If you um go into the seaweed, roll a con- saving constitution saving throw. What'd you get, Meg? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, that is a fail. I'll let everyone know that's a fail. Oh, it's gonna be a fail for me. Too. I got a sixteen. Oh, that's a save. <laughs> I get a natural one. <laughs> Ooh, that yours is gonna be really bad. <laughs> I yeah. <got> Eleven. <laughs> Um, that's a fail. Okay, so... Not safe. Who's that? <laughs> um, Arista, y- you swim in and you just feel, um, your arms and where the seaweed's touching start to burn as it's like this boiling acid on your skin, it feels like. And to... you'll take... If you failed, you'll take five points of acid damage. Mizu, you'll go in and it burns a little bit, but you like stay away from it really easily and you only take two points of acid damage. And then um, Seer, as you swim in, you take five points of acid damage. And Resistant, I take three. Two, <coughs> three? You so failed, so you take five. I made the half. But I'm, I'm, resi- I'm resistant. Oh, so yeah, you take so two. So I'm taking two. <gasps> I'll round Thank down. Thank you. Also, down. ow. Um, Celia, as you fly into it, you just get into this big patch, like kind of off the side to make room for people going through the portal and you take a lot as it's just a wall right in your face and slides down as you push through it and does 10 acid damage to you. Main player advantage from T-Nasty. Ooh, that's Tanner. Yes. (laughs) Trying to to bribe us into liking him. (laughs) Okay, as you're shocked and you look back, that portal closes and as it does, you can see through the thicket, you're right at the edge and your vessel is up in the current, just kind of sitting there as it looks like this whale kind of goes by and accidentally nudges it, and it goes out oh, of the current and just floats in the water there. It has enough propulsion to stay stable in a spot. So you're actually where you were in the current, just kind of downward at the wall. And you see that tail swimming through past you guys. And you hear Venfira yelling out, uh, but she's yelling at the merfolk for them to put her down, drop her. She is Princess Venfira. Uh, dude, I look at uh, Celia. We're not letting this one get away. And oh, for I, sure. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> speed looking through spells, but also, yes, I uh, have to <clears throat> keep moving somehow. Um, so I assume um, we, can't, we can't keep going through this thicket or we'll, we'll keep getting burned. Is there another way to go around it that we see, or is it... Um. Uh, roll me an insight check really fast. Will I start fighting some thickets? I will start swinging. Insight is going to be... Swinging. 24. Okay, as the seaweed... Because it's long. You saw how from the bottom of wherever this part of the ocean is, it swang. So they're all, like, really big with strings coming off of it of seaweed. Um, and it's all, you know, moving like this in the water as the water moves through it. So it's hard to see, kind of guessing where it goes, but you see this big opening kind of right to the right of where they went. Um, okay, this way! <laughs> and see, so starts to starts to head towards that opening to the right. Okay, as you all yes, get into the opening, oh. you're in the middle of some, and you see through the seaweed, uh, the seaweed, or uh, the merfolk just swims through with Infira, and the seaweed burst open and out into far a away big are they? Uh, cave, about 30 feet. It past the seaweed, past this circle that you're in of seaweed that's safe. Uh, chasing at, moving still towards the the merfolk, and as soon as I get eyes on said merfolk, I would like to cast a spell. It's like I'm okay. readying an action okay. to cast hold person when I see the merfolk who is holding my sister. Uh, but <laughs> okay, right, um, I'm swimming. I don't know. another constitution saving throw if you're going into it again. Yeah, I will. 
but you... I'll also do one if I'm following. Yeah, yeah roll yeah, it I'm if you're going through. As well. If someone gets main player advantage, we'll see who needs uh, it it's, first. It's you, because you initiated this. Oh. Uh, I failed. Well, then... I got a 5. I got a 23. I got a 17. That's a pass. Mizu fails. Oh, Celia. I got a 23. I got knuckle nines. Ooh, I'm slashing save? my way through it now. Okay. I learn. Um, and uh, Arista, are you going? Uh, it, this is another con save, right? Yes. Main player advantage for Dancing Wolf. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <Roll> again. <laughs> yes! I was like, I got to five again! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this the universe is a... said, calm down. <laughs> okay, would you like to press the roll? Would you like to try to roll yes. again? But if you miss it, there might be dire consequences. We can't lose yes, two sisters in one day. I'm going to push my way through because I'm trying to... All right, then roll it one more time. You all heard Riss is pushing the roll. <laughs> 23! 23! 23! 23! Yeah, 20. Hello. Okay, as, as you're swimming through that seaweed and it's starting to really burn, you think about all the stories in that library. Your mind is in that fucking matrix of library in that castle. And you uh, remember kind of how these things move and the right parts of the plants that'll hit you. And you're able to just spin the right way to, for it to just get your tail, which you could drop at any time. And you spin through, you all swim through into this big opening, this big cave, cave drawings on the big side, um, there seemed to be in the middle this big arcane lime green with sigil with big circle. There's a couple circles to the left and right with the lines going through. It looks just like the symbol that Celia found on that merfolk. And it's just oh, a light, light, dimmer of light right now. And standing in the middle is this tall woman who at first you're like what is that because seaweed all over her um with her face is really pale with these sunken in eyes but a chiseled chin that looks like it could be in vogue um she's got this green armor that's very pro provocative as she stands there dominating the space with these shorter um merfolk warriors that you saw before just two of them one on each side. And as the merfolk that was carrying Vinfira swam out of the water, and you exited into that cave following, Princess Seer cast Hold Person. What do they need to roll? Yeah, uh, they're making a wisdom save, and I say, I command you to stop! Uh, wisdom save. Uh, do, 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 do. 16. Ah, 16 is my save. Damn. <laughs> they keep swimming downwards and just right towards her where you see she just raises um, her hand as the merfolk swims away really fast, kind of far off of the distance, just kind of like watching. As you can hear already Vinfira saying something, and she grabs Vinfira's arm and just looks Don't at her face really sister. close. As you swim close, she turns and looks at you, and then immediately um, puts her hand over Vinfira's mouth and grabs her in and they both poof about 50, 60 feet where this cave looks like it's going into a tunnel and she, as she stands there um, do you want to do anything as she turns around these two uh, warriors are near you I'll give you one thing you can try yes, uh, wait, how far did Tracy was? Um, 60 these feet these damn spells Fuck me. I think it's a 50, um, 60, we'll say 60 yeah, right. can can Big Mama make me a, a wisdom save? Okay, this is They're really probably important. all fucking annoying, but... I will show you her face. Oh, she, looks, she, she, she looks like she's what important. She, what save? Like oh, wisdom. Wait, yes. Uh, yes. You see her turn and her eyes kind of glow as this spell is coming at her. And she seems kind of weak. But then, just as soon as it hits, it just bounces off as she counter spells. I look at Celia. Kill her. She raises <laughs> uh, her arm. That sigil sequence, as you all swim towards her, lights up, blocking off the part of the cave where she is. These giant kraken tentacles come out of the ground and crisscross, covering the entire entrance to where she is, cutting it in half, essentially, and light fills the in between. 
as she floats up into the air, um, just holding Venfira, who seems like she's yelling, and she's pulled out her weapon that seems to be glowing and trying to like hit her as she's holding her in. And she's... I can't find her. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and let you roll initiative. Very good. We'll do that first. What might my thing? I got an 18. I got a 7. I'm so bad at initiative. I got a 12. Okay, one second. I think last time I got a 2. I can add that. Um... I will okay, say, I'll as, she, my <laughs> as she does that, um, more warriors kind of come out of the seaweed in some casters, and this big, giant, green, uh, like, the seaweed kind of converges, druidic-like, and becomes this big seaweed golem in front of you. This a big fight. Oh, boy. Good. You pissed off the sea witch, sea witch! <laughs> it's the battle of the sea witches, I'm here for it. All right, I'll put you on the board one second. I gotta adjust. No rush. Click away. Click away. All right. Plan amongst yourself. I'm gonna put you kind of a little way from the center because you kind of came from top left. You guys kind of came from this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Celia, you know, eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. For sure. I get to show off some new things I got. Yay! But also, fuck you, yeah, thing. For uh, real. Okay, I got you on the board now. Now let's add these turns. I feel like Arissa's our secret weapon. I didn't roll a zero. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I haven't, I haven't put him in yet. <laughs> That's not it. That's not me. Okay, um, what'd you get, Celia? I got a seven, I believe. Yeah. All right, Mizu? I got an 18. 18, Seer? Uh, 12, and I put it in. Oh, okay, and Arista. Uh, seven. Seven. Perfect. Okay. As she rises up into the air, she's going to say, Ah, feeble princesses of you, of Azir, do you feel the currents of destiny shifting? Do you at all sense the impending darkness that wraps its tendrils around your feudal resistance? This realm, this kingdom that once dared defy us, now trembles in the face of the inevitable. <laughs> as she just laughs, as all her um, followers cry out. I look over at Mizu. Does she know she's on the losing side? It doesn't seem like it. You know these bitches, they're always on an ego trip. Can't trust them. Is it a little warm over here? I think she peed when she, uh... And when she, she just was taking her away. Is that for that large? <laughs> it's just for drama. I mean, <laughs> if I... Skill? finally saw all of us in person for the first time, I'd be peeing myself, too. Mm. <laughs> True. True. Okay. Before this happens, <laughs> Seer, roll me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, these <laughs> the saves are back! <laughs> All right. Wisdom saving throw. A dirty 20. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Nothing happens. <laughs> Main player advantage has been redeemed by Dancing Wolf. Okay, Not that so I need it, but someone can get it. That wolf is dancing tonight. Ooh. That sounds good with me. <laughs> All right, I need to these. All right, now I can put everything in descending order. It's a lot of guys. So I just put their pictures in the top right of the map so you could see them, but they're not obviously in this fight, and it is a long initiative. Okay, I was I, that was curious about that. I was like, is she over there, just staring yeah, at I mean, us as we made do this them fight? Big. If you'd like me to make her Perfect. actual size, I can. Just to show you her picture. 
They're probably yeah, like she's, a, she's a medium-sized creature. That makes me feel more comfortable yes. yelling at her. And I was like, you feel kind of large because, you know, I'm, I'm like 4 or 5. I'm already <laughs> tiny. Like, okay, as you swim out, guard. this uh, merfolk behind Mizu goes to attack. Oh, it is a swing and a miss. Um, but then oh, he's Mizu? going to take... He yeah, Mizu's going to take his, um, his trident as he swipes and it misses. But, ah, he's going to get tribal and he's going to try to bite into you. But that is also a miss. That's fucking pitiful. My armor class is so low. <laughs> I just look pretty. <laughs> and these are the motherfuckers you did, yes, then? Interesting. Uh, this merfolk it, from across the room... Can we not enrage the people who have our sister's lives in their literal hands right now? As you're yelling out, this other merfolk is going to swim right to you, right in the face of Celia. It looks like it's going to go for Celia, but it's going straight for you. That is t that's a hit with a trident right in your shoulder, and then bite onto your other shoulder as both hit. I talked my shit too soon. That's 15 points of piercing damage. Listen, that happens. And it is your turn. Um, I am going to do a good old-fashioned Eldritch Blast at some of these guys over here. Uh, I'm going to hit the... Ooh... I'm gonna hit the golem monster and then the two beneath him, out of like so. Okay, that's a water caster and a warrior. Just to let you know, the pictures are tiny. Okay. I will show you their pictures. Right there. Boom. Uh, that's a twenty-four to hit. The golem. Yes. That's a hit. That's a nice an, juicy one. An eighteen to hit the one under it. Hit. I'm do it twice. Um. Uh, 24 to hit the bottom one. All three hit in defiance. Mizu shoots out. Oh, that damage. Three damage to the golem. Damn, one damage to the one underneath it. And two damage to the one underneath that. No Rude. way, dude. I wish I was lying. Every little bit helps. They're they're threatened. They all see you now. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do right now. All right, make sure I get all this down. All right, another caster's turn. They're going to stay ranged, and they're going to cast haste on this one. So I'm going to put a little red dot for haste. And then they are going to make their way over here. Um, it's the monster's turn. It's going to run 5, 10, 15, 20, or swim, I guess, run, pulling swim. the ground underneath them to get uh, uh, propulsion and is going to jump right here so, Princess, Seer, and Arist, Princess Arista need to roll uh, dexterity saving throws. Uh, did that advantage get used yet? Nope, take it. Great. I got a 12. Oh boy, I got an 18. I clicked disadvantage instead of advantage, but it still rolled twice. <laughs> okay, 18 <laughs> saves, 12 fails. What? One second. Ooh, mostly harmless has redeemed main player advantage. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll let you use it if you want to try to save. I will use it. Do it. I rolled a 12 again. These advantages aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing. Oh, uh, we tried. Okay, um... <laughs> Just rolling the same thing. <laughs> you're gonna get knocked back ten feet in the water. Um, mm -hmm. and I'll describe what happens when you hit that merfolk. Um, and then... Oh, I you're going to take twenty points of force damage as the, the hitting the ground hits this big shockwave out that hits you back. And Arista will take ten points of force damage. That is halved. Um, and knocks you back. You can't go any further into that merfolk. I'm gonna make the same for him. 
Oh, oh god, he rolled in that um, one. I'm gonna use my uncanny dodge to take half of the t- half of the half. Okay, so take five. Take that five. That's uh, mostly harmless has redeemed. The player finds a way to gain health. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, right. <Thank> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So you you roll you hit into him, but he rolled a nat one, so he's going to fall prone while you still stand. Yeah, or guy. still swim. You know, upright. We're gonna say upright in this water. Okay, um, as this is happening, you see um, as this merfolk down towards the bottom had swam to this other one, they accidentally touched a piece of this seaweed that's within this, right around the edge of this magic, and it seems to glow, and you see a little scratch on her arm kind of heals a little bit, and she kind of hisses at the bush because she doesn't need it right now. So just so you're all aware... This outer ring of seaweed before it gets to an obvious wall. Do you see all those little bits of seaweed floating around in there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those are all healthy. Hitting them, they will like kind of dissipate and it'll give you some health. Is that going to be an action? or? Yes, that'll be an action. Okay. Um, they're small, they're not going to do a lot of health, but there's a lot of them down there. Mm-hmm. Okay, big fight. Seer. Um, say ears. Oh, wait, I take that back. The one that has oh, haste was supposed kidding. to go. Um, okay. Which means he can swim all this way over um, and is going to attack Celia twice. With, or with a, once with a trident, once with a bite. What's your armor class right now, Celia? Uh, my armor class is 16. I also think that it has advantage because it does. I'm... Yeah. Um, the first one's definitely going to hit. The second one's going to miss. So he's going to get you with the trident, but he's going to not get your shoulder. Um, and you're going to take eight points of piercing damage. Gotcha. Now, sorry, now it's your turn, Seer. Yeah. Um, the ear is going to... Sorry, I'm like reading things. Okay, good. Keep thinking about it because going I forgot Ace gives one more attack. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you get two. Okay. Go ahead. Yep, yep. One second. Oh, it, it failed. It failed. Yeah, fuck you. Um, <laughs> the years, and since that guy's prone, she's just going to start to swim up past him. It kind of just swims vertically, but we'll move this way for the for the vibes. Um, and as she's, like, rising, she says, You must have forgotten that I'm also a sea witch. And she puts her hands out, and she starts to summon death and decay. And she is going to cast at the third level spell... Uh, conjure animals, Ooh. and she's gonna summon a gagger coven, which is eight constrictor snakes, which she considers to be eels, and they'll be around us. They're gonna be attacking these. Are they guys, as one? They're no, they're eight individual ones. They act. They will act on like an initiative, but they're eight individual creatures. <laughs> so okay. sorry. You got eight. I got eight. You know. That's alright. That's alright. I brought my sisters. You got a golem. We're evening up the odds here. <laughs> Okay, they're going to be tiny, but we'll put... We'll do this. And they're all around you? They're going to be around uh, the field. They're going to be a- they're gonna be attacking these uh, uh, merfolk, which will okay. be her next command to them. Which will be Two, her command to them. Three, four, five, six. I kind of love this. Let me just roll these in. Ten. And then the one at the bottom. All right, yeah, go ahead. Seven. Uh, yeah, her bonus action is to command them, uh, wrap them up. And so they are going to all make the constrict attacks on their merfolks. Dang. Uh, which is... Did any of them roll well? That's the question. And I'm just going to okay, go from top to bottom see. on the screen. Yeah. So this one is a... Uh, Eight, so a fail. This one is a uh, twelve. The twelve hit on the warrior. No, that's a okay. miss. That's Wait, a and miss. is it? Tw- it's a twelve to hit on that first one. No, that first one was an eight. Oh, okay. They didn't roll too well for some of these. Uh, but I'm trying to. Okay, eight, twelve, eight. Nope. This one got a twenty-two. Yes, that failed. All right, I mean, so it, he it is, hit it. So. The, he gets hit, he takes damage, and also he is grappled, which means he is under the effects of restrained. 
uh, while my sh the snake wraps around his legs. Um, and it's gonna take 1d8 plus 4 plus 2. Don't send me. Five points of da uh, seven points of damage as that snake or as that eel starts to wrap around him and tighten him up, and he is restrained. Good damage, uh, good attack. This one is only going to be a. No, I'm just not going to say. I'm just not going to hit. Uh, this is a six, uh, 16. Does that? Yes, that hits. Yes. Uh, boop, 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 boop. That is another seven points of damage because I just roll the same dice over and over again. Apparently, and he's Perfect. also restrained. Okay. And then the other two are going to be misses. Far That's out. the end of my turn. Okay, far out. Um, this caster for, who missed is going to attack uh, the snake. Um, bit, 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 Their AC is 12. Okay. Ugh, it's a miss. That's a hit. All right, it's going to do... How much damage? That one is... It's not that much. Actually, get another dice. It's four points of piercing damage as she pulls out uh, this uh, small dagger. And that's the top one. Okay. Yep. Okay, the one that's caught in between snakes is going to um, going to take some attack. One on each. Going to try it. One of them. Let's do it. There we go. Um, that's a hit on the snake, and that's a bite on the snake. Um, eight damage on the snake to the, his right, and what was the damage? And six damage to the one below him, absorbing the hits for Arista. Eight and six, you said? Yep. Eight and six. Arista's turn. Uh, gotcha. Cunning action to disengage so I can leave this area without provoking an opportunity of attack. Beautiful. Um, and I'm going to swim. The, can you show me one more time where the good, healthy seaweed is? The good good stuff? Yeah, so... I don't get acided. Yeah, right above you, you see there's like a rock wall right there? Uh-huh. And over here, there's like rock walls and stuff. That's kind of like uh -huh. where the cave kind of dips down. Everything uh -huh. inside that little downed part from those rock walls is on the solid ground in this little cave, and those are healthy. So, basically, all the ones that are close to you. Okay, because I would like to go swim over here, basically, mm -hmm. like among these. Mm -hmm. um, but bef I'm I'm just gonna hang out with them for a minute because I want to use my action to cast Bane on this guy Ooh. this guy and this guy they all need to make charisma saving throws Ooh, okay i'm going to start from the top let me get their save i have their save written down this is not going to be good uh fail fail and a nat 20. so the one that's restrained got a nat 20 unless they have disadvantage on this, but I don't what, think they do, because they're restrained. It's charisma, so I wouldn't guess that you necessarily need mobility to be able true. to... True, true. No, they failed deck saves, but... Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so the one restrained saved, but the other two failed. Okay, so um, this is where the two that failed mm -hmm. have to roll a d4 every time they make a saving throw uh, or attack roll. Is this concentration? And subtract the nine... Yes, up to one minute. Okay. Alright, so they also have a green bane. I will remember these colors. <laughs> Everyone just remember what color you put on there and it'll work out. <laughs> okay, is that it? Is it Celia's turn? Yes. Alright, Celia, knock back. And if you hit that um, snake one, you have advantage, which you would know. But Yeah, um, I'm not going to go for the one that is restrained. I'm going to go for the other one behind me. Um... And uh, I'm going to throw a wild haymaker punch. So uh, I'm going to roll with a uh, disadvantage. Um, it's going to be one of my melee attacks. Okay. Um, it's going to be a natural one. Oh. The, on the restrained one? Mm -mm. No, the uh, this one. Okay, that one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use my extra attack to do the same thing again uh, and roll a 13. Now hear me out. Flanking with my snakes, your thoughts. 
<laughs> uh, because you know, I see the reasoning for flanking that it's kind of like a distraction, distracted. almost split. I think it still works because it's an ally. I agree. It's not enough legs, dude. It's or tails. So, so you sorry, have don't have feet. This. <laughs> so then the roll, that first roll was actually. It, you rolled a, a one and a what, Andrew? I rolled a one and a twenty-three. Okay, so it succeeds, and that's one attack. Okay. Okay. Um, and that is going to be in that case. Um, Easter's helping Easter's. Fifteen yeah. bludgeoning magic damage. Fifteen. Um, and then the second one will be a fifteen. The hit. That hits. Okay. Uh, that's going to be another. You have 15. advantage on it. Do you want to roll and see you get a net twenty? Um, well, I'm just taking because I end up rolling twice anyway, so I'm just taking what what was there. Gotcha. Yeah, I was a fifteen and a thirteen. Yeah, I don't know how to turn that off. I've just been using my left cool, numbers. Cool, cool. All right, what's the damage yeah. for that second one? Um, fifteen. Who boy? Well, you magic. Yeah. Uh, you um, see, he is bleeding out slowly. He's bleeding, not a condition, just visually. <laughs> okay. Well, then in that case, I'm gonna use the old one too. Uh, expend a moxie point and uh, do one more. No, I think it's two more. I get to do two more attacks. Well, let's yeah. go. I also yeah. just want to say that he is ble- or they are bleeding green blood. Oh, chlorophyll? The poisonous? You've <laughs> always seen uh, red blood. Mm-hmm. They definitely plant people. Okay, that is going to be a 28 to hit. Yeah. Made you bleed your um, I never announced that it was a wild haymaker, so I'll roll for it. Um... And that it's going to be six bludgeoning damage, uh, bludgeoning magic damage. Woo! The suppressed fighter inside of you got released and absolutely destroys this merfolk. They float there down to the ground, dead. That's cool. And then for my for my second attack uh, from taking yep. that, um, I will go for the restrained person behind me. Okay. Um, and that is going to be a natural twenty. Hey hey. Um, and what are what are we what are our rules for that? For res- uh, so if you're going to roll like 2d6 f- for your damage, you would take the mm. max of that, 12, then roll them. So you max okay. all the damage cool. and then roll for damage. And add okay, it all cool. together. So it's going to be uh, 15 plus 12, which is uh, 27, 27 damage, bludgeoning magic, to the restrained merfolk. Ooh. He is also okay. very similarly profusely bleeding. Cool. Um... Can I uh, move around this person that they're restrained without a attack of opportunity? Is that how that works, Michael? Uh, they can still make attacks, but they're at, they make all their attacks a disadvantage if okay. they're restrained. I'll take it. Um, I'm going to uh, use my movement 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to use my movement to move next to this uh, behemoth man. Ooh, okay. The strong guy. Yeah. Get the golem. Um, and... I think that's it. I think that's it for me. I don't have anything else to do. Okay, um... ba Where's this other caster on the board? All the way to the left, the one that is restrained. Um, what do they need to roll to try to escape? Uh, they are making a... DC 14 is an 19. athletics check. They rolled a 19. Okay. So they are perfect. no yep. longer restrained, but that is their <laughs> that action. That is their action. There yeah. you go. And their movement? No. It is their action. Um, he's going to stay where he is to fight that snake next time. Um, because, or that eel, excuse me. All right. Um, this guy down here is going to attack this eel. That is a hit, and that is a hit, so it's going to take uh, 14 points of piercing. Ooh, it dies. Dead. Don't have to write that down. Perfect. A red little squarely. Cool. And then he is going to move... It reverts back to the decay that it was. All the way to where Celia is, without even having to dash. Mm -hmm. Top of the turn order, you see that sigil starts to light up as you hear um, the lith on the other side of those walls. Behold, my dear sisters, <laughs> the coveted jewel of Eudothia. And kind of Cradle Venfira, who's like trying to get out, but looks like she's now like magically restrained. 
Princess Venvira stands at the precipice of her demise. Look upon her, for soon she will be nothing but a severed head, a testament to the futility of your endeavors. A head to be paraded before the broken masses as a proclamation of our supremacy. And then you hear that siren song as the other turned us talk or turned to look and gaze. And um, sh- she ends it, and their eyes are all glowing. And you see something's different happening for this round as she uh, laughs. All right, I'm gonna enjoy breaking her. Um, this one, said Mizu is prone. They're gonna use their movement half their movement to stand up and the blue is for disadvantage right or is for um uh is that the bane that's the bane so the green, d4. green was bane and it's 1d4 oh. 1d4 every right. time you roll an attack or a saving throw they're going to attack mizu at advantage with a d4 minus uh, right <laughs> oh we're gonna, we're gonna get crazy in here Ooh, because of the d4 that first one missed you're welcome. Just helping sisters. <laughs> uh, and uh, not because of the D4, but the second one also missed. Mizu with the worst. Third, I'll take Two it. Two of them. The one below Who needs Mizu to wear armor? that is restrained uh, broke out of the restraint, but that is their turn. All right. Y'all soaking up these? There were two that failed the check for Bane, weren't there? One is dead. One's dead. Oh, where did... Oh, I see that. I see the red X now. Sorry. Sorry. Yep, that's Sorry. fine. He got got. Um, but he, he can't use it. <laughs> he can't use any actions. Okay, Mizu. So you uh, Mizu's not intimidated by uh, these two surrounding her, so her attention's gonna kind of turn to the golem in front of her, and she's gonna cast Elemental Bane on him uh, with the intention of casting like cold damage with it. Uh, so he's gonna need to roll a Constitution save. Ooh, below you? Oh, that's a fail. Uh, the golem. The golem failed. Um, so whenever I attack him with cold damage now, I get an extra 2d6, and if he was resistant to cold damage, he's no longer resistant. Okay. He was, he's not no more. All right. <laughs> you never know with these underwater ones. Anything else? <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna stand there. All right, uh, the caster, I believe, down below. Yep. Um, the haste is ended. She is going to come this way and cast haste on... Um, the golem. Ew. So oh, because she, the guy she had hasted died. Exactly. All and right. that's her. We we'll need to kill her so that way that thing loses its turn. The golem is going to attack you. Celia twice, with advantage. Who gave her that? Oh, because the. Because you flying. Uh, both of them <sighs> hit as he's going to stomp twice on top of your head. Uh. That's going to do twenty points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, so he has a big head, it's okay. And then because both hit, he gets a bonus. As he hits both of them on top of your head, he's going to try to shove you down. So you have to make a dexterity saving throw. That's a 13. That's a fail. Mm. You are now prone. Bring out the green. At Se- least seer. they went before that. Um... I am going to... Uh, I hate that I go before these things. Um, the ear is going to... This guy's been hit, right? He's been getting fought. Mm-hmm. He's going to step up. Um, wrong twin! And she's going to hit him with Primal Savagery. Um, blanking for advantage. Oh, wait, let me roll on my character sheet. I'm so sorry. You're fine. I get so excited. I'm just like, click dice. And I'm like, wait. There are ways to do this. Okay, two thirteens. This advantage is not working, like I said. <laughs> uh, does a thirteen hit? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> not by much, but it doesn't hit. I rolled two fives. That's, that's hell stuff. This is one of the um, best warriors. You know, she ends her turn, and then... Or, she... That's the end of her turn, and then all of her snakes will, again, try to constrict. So here come the rolls. Okay, here we go. Uh, Starting at the top. Uh, boom. Stop. Okay. This is a nat one. This is not gonna hit. Oof. This one is a sixteen. That hits. Why that snake roll higher than me? <laughs> it's fine. I love it here. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is only a an eleven. I'm assuming that's a miss. That's a miss. 
Uh, this one is going to move to this guy. And it is a... A nat 20. Oh! Purr, purr. Okay, so let me roll that. That's automatically 10 points of damage plus... Oh, plus the restriction? 4, 14 point... Yeah, it's going to be 14 points of damage. Dang. Oh. And all of these took 10. Hmm? Did all of these take 10? No, the the other ones have been misses. This is the this is the first one to hit. Okay, gotcha. Oh wait, no, this one this one hit. Sorry, this one hit. Boop. That but guy got it's hit. It's supposed to do ten hit. damage every time. It's not just restrained. Oh no no, that oh. was the nat twenty. The nat twenty gave me the the ten points because gotcha. of nat twenty, and then I rolled the rest of it. So it was fourteen points total because I rolled two. <laughs> gotcha. Um, sorry. Yeah. All right. Next. Boom. Next snake over to the guy to the left. And then this or one eel. is a. Darn it. <laughs> this one is a sixteen. Yeah, he's restrained. Boom. Boom. Eight points of damage. Non-magical bludgeoning, if we're counting, because I know my other sisters, you know, got hers. Mm -hmm. And then this last one is a uh, a twelve on this caster, which would be this. Uh, twelve hits. Ooh, I was wow. that. Great. And also, she needs to make a. She's gonna have to make a concentra concentration check on, on haste, haste that's right so how much she's restrained and how much damage it's seven points of damage so it's just the 10 on the save for concentration okay um she got it mm, I hate her. it last um and okay. but now she's restrained her turn. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay great end of me yes done okay zipping Thank along you. here um the one at this top here is going to um, cast haste on this one. I guess they're going to have to move to the other side, but they won't attack opportunity. And it cast haste on that one. And it is the one in the middle here's turn. It's going to turn to the one in between them and try to get it with one attack. That's a hit because it was a what? 14? On your eels? Hit. Oh, the eels AC is a 12. 12? Oh, yeah, definitely. The and, eel got a higher armor class than me. I um, mean, I, I get what you feel. Uh, an <laughs> eel will take 14 points of piercing. Dead. Hell yeah. That was so loud. I'm so sorry. But <laughs> dead. That was already got hurt, so I didn't even have all that. Okay. Um, and then. Six it eels remain. Arista's turn. Still thinking about how much that guy still really has to roll a d4 and subtract it from his stuff. Uh -huh. I'm gonna shoot my. That's <laughs> what I'm, saying. I'm, still con I'm notating that I'm still concentrating. I'm gonna shoot my uh, spear gun at um, this dude who just got hasted. Thanks okay. to me, dude. Yep. Um, oops. That's a 14. That misses by one. <laughs> That's all, right. all I got. All right. See you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that. Wait, what other bonus actions do I have? Any bonus actions? Just bardic inspiration. Um. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, or yeah. is anybody? Uh, is anybody looking hurt? Who's taking the most damage? Anybody need some healing? Oh, I have. Uh, I have all my that's hit points still. Thinking. I've got seventy-three out of Celia. ninety-one. Yeah, I'm. I'm close to half health at the moment, but. Give me some time. The year's in her element. She Give me like a second. Give me a round or two and then... Okay. All right. Then bardic inspiration it is. I am going to um, do a cheer for Celia. Get up! <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> All right, Celia, it's your turn. Are you inspired by get up? I feel pretty inspired. <laughs> Do you, in fact, get up? <laughs> um, I'm going to get up. Yeah. That got um, nice, that's half my movement. I have yep. 15 feet now. Um, I am going to... Uh... Yeah, Celia's pretty angry at the moment, so I think that almost all of my attacks are going to be wild haymakers, whether it, not, okay. whether it be good for me or not. Main um, player advantage from T-Nasty. Oh, so, and you have advantage. You Okay, I'm gonna Advantage hit the gold. and you can add a d6 if you want. That's right. I would love to. 
Okay, so when I when I add a d6 for like something where I roll multiple times, do I like choose which one I like add it to, or do I add it? You just to have to declare it before you rolls? roll it. Not with the d6, you can do the inspiration as you will. But for that okay. advantage, obviously you're rolling advantage. I mean, roll it, and if it's okay. bad, you can choose to advantage. I guess is what I'm saying. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so I roll with disadvantage. So I'm rolling regular now okay. with this. Um, and I guess I'll use my bardic inspiration for that. That would be awesome. Okay. Um, and that is going to be a natural one. How? Well, maybe. Uh, because I had uh, I had an advantage. I had disadvantage and then advantage, sort of like. So it's oh, just so a it's normal, normal roll. roll. So, yeah, so it was a normal was roll. Which was that one? I don't think I want to use bardic inspiration anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> what's the there. attack you were doing on that? It was a wild haymaker, so like just a good old punch with my with my arm and fist into their uh, missed a giant physical seagull. part of their body. Okay, um, it like hits inside that body. It almost feels a little acidic on the inside a little bit. Mm -hmm. So the next haymaker attack you do, you're gonna minus two damage to it. So what, if you're doing fourteen damage, you're doing twelve. If you're doing two, okay, you're doing cool. zero. Well, that's cool. We're gonna apply that to my next attack. Only because it's a um, yeah. Um, and that is going to be a 13 to hit. That is a miss. Because I'm rolling with disadvantage, yeah. Uh, can I use my bardic inspiration for that? Yes. Cool. Uh, that's, that's a good. d6. Yes. And that is going to be 15. That's a miss. Gosh. Gosh, thank you. Just by a little um, bit. I'm going to use my bonus action to dig deep, um, which allows me to gain resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage for one minute, but I have to gain a level of exhaustion at the end of that minute. Okay. Anything else? Uh, that's all for me. Thank you. Yeah, of course. It's a. Is, is it the guy's restraint? No, yes, it is. He's made a roll for restraint all the way to the left. Uh, he succeeded. He is not restrained anymore, but he's getting frustrated that he cannot move or do anything. He can move. So, yeah, screw the snake. He'll take opportunity attack. Two, three, four, five. He should just be better. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yeah, he's gonna go right up there to Mizu. Uh, opportunity attack for the heal. Fifteen, fifteen to hit. That hits. Hey, that's gonna be. Oh my gosh. Is he restrained? Uh, no. I guess we're just be making a, a bite attack. I mean, I guess it could have made never. It, it just. What it do? It could be it could be a restraint. It because it's just a it's just a different kind of attack, but it's still a melee attack. I was just gonna hit it, but it's a either way it's gonna be the same amount of damage, um, which is uh, nine. Okay. Yes, MJ. Yes. <laughs> is is it part of the move where it also restrains? Is what I'm asking. Not do you want it to restrain? Well, the thing is, so we can make a bite attack or it can make the constrict attack, but those are just the same thing. And I was just making an attack because I was like, oh, I got to hit it. But oh, it could have been. So you're making a bite attack. You're making a bite yeah. attack. Yeah, I was like, there you go. Uh, so nine points of uh, piercing damage. Okay, cool. Um, and he is he he can't do any actions. Um, the one right here is going to roll for restraint under Celia. They failed. They are still restrained. Um, yeah, the scared. one over here that is restrained in between you and Mizu, they also failed. Um, the one below Mizu with haste is going to take um, attack first. That is a hit. A bite second. That is a hit. And then they have haste. They're going to do it again. That's chaotic. And that is also a hit. So that's two tridents and a bite. That's uh, 12, 13, 14. That's 21 points of piercing damage. It's the, it's the wrist hitting the desk for me. <laughs> And it was the uh, fact that I missed the beginning of the turn order. Uh, now all that their eyes have been glowing green, uh, that sigil lights up bright. Um, and they look like they're – they all kind of like put their hands up like they're prepared to make a big dart while swimming. And as the green sigil underneath you lights up, the water starts churning into a whirlpool of magical green energy underneath you. And when we get back, everyone's going to have to make deck saves, except for the ones that are restrained, which are automatically going to fail, which was clever. Of you. Yeah, oh, friend. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be right back, everybody. We'll give a quick little bathroom break, and then we'll come right back and see how the rest of this battle comes on. Let's Welcome back, everybody. Princes of Power, Campaign 4, Episode 22. We are currently 
in the seaweed thicket, the border, the mermaid city, village, town thing of Eudothia. Uh, we are fighting the Shadow Sirens because this crazy witch seaweed lady has stolen Venfira and is talking about the supremacy of the secret sirens. Um, right now, the water has just turned into a vortex as the sigil has lit up. Um, and so I asked dexterity saving throws from everybody. So first, let me get dex save from Seer. That's going to be a dirty 20. Okay, I'm you save. Surprise. Oh, um, you will take you. half damage, though. Yeah. What is that? Oh, I'll tell him a minute. I'll tell him a minute. Oh, I, I was like... Just so yeah. I can get through everybody really fast. And do you have yes. to roll a concentration check if it does damage at all? Yes. Okay, so concentration really fast. But that DC is based on the damage you do? That's why I was asking that. Gotcha. So I can just... I'll, oh, I see. Okay, so you will take half damage, which is only... Oh, I shouldn't have made this an odd number. Uh, tw uh, you're going to take 12 points of damage, which is halved. So full okay. will be is 24. Is it elemental in any way? No, it's force from the water. That's rude as hell. Or them elements. <laughs> right, so I got to make a con say DC 12. Or oh, half as much damage, so 10. That's crazy. Okay. I have advantage because I'm a warcaster. Yay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got a 12. Nice. Which, okay. Which eels is actually remain. not good because I got to roll like all those eels, which are probably going to die in this. Yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll roll those rolling. eels. Yeah. Five, then. Seven of them? How many do I got? Lord. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. There's okay. red squiggly lines where one they died, more. which in hindsight was a little too close to what they looked like. Um, what's the DC? I can just take the bill or not. Uh, it, it does... No, what, what are they trying to beat? What's the, what's the dexterity saving oh, throw? Oh, 16. Um, one makes it. Which is this one. And the others fail? They all fail. The other ones all fail. Okay, which ones die that are left? They take... Uh, is it tw 24 is the full damage. All of them! <laughs> Boom. Red squiggly line. All right. Except the one that saved. <laughs> He's alive. Cool. Um, Mizu? Uh, I got an 18. All right, so you save, so you'll take uh, 12 points of force damage. And you're concentrating on Bane. What's your concentration check? Uh, is that a, do I need to roll save for that? Yeah, roll a constitution saving throw, essentially. Uh, 19. Oh, yeah, you're good. Damn. You're still concentrating. Um, oh. <coughs> Arista. I got a 13. Ooh, that's 24 points of force damage. Ouch. Yeah, this thing freaking hurts. And Celia. I rolled a 10. 24 points of no. force damage. Right, you're, you're almost critical, right? Yeah, I'm at 45 HP at the moment, oh, but okay. something oh. does something does happen. Um, oh. uh, when I'm reduced to half my maximum hit points or less, I'm going to use my reaction and gain temporary hit points equal to three times my level. Okay. Which is what? If we're level 11 now? Okay. Yep, so five. Yeah, so that's 33 temporary hit points. Damn! Um, and also. I finally took damage. I can add my proficiency bonus to the damage of my unarmed strikes for the next minute. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I believe that's all our main characters, right? Those are our princesses? Okay. Yeah, now kill um, some merfolk. Yes. The one that is restrained, the caster down below, dead. Yes. Um, beats them to death. Goosh, gudush. Um, the one that is restrained under Celia, dead. That sounds good. Cool. The one dead? that's the top left of Mizu, in between Seer, right in front of Seer's face, dead. <laughs> Feeling good. The restrained really helps. It broke the concentration on the haste on the golem, and it broke concentration on the haste on this merfolk because she died. So the golem loses his turn? 
because he has lethargy yes. from being hasted. That's right. Yes! Stand there, golem, and look dumb. <laughs> um, the other ones will take damage. Um, um, but the others are dead, so I don't believe... Yeah, one caster remains. This is war. And it is now the merfolk's turn that is right under Mizu. Um, it's going to try to hit you with a trident and bite the snake. Oops, bite that snake at that. Uh, it misses Mizu, but it does bite the snake for six damage. It's dead. It just dissolved in its mouth like cotton candy. Boom. Yummy. <laughs> Mizu's turn. But also, Mizu didn't get hit twice, so yay. Yeah, for real. <laughs> or once. Uh. Mizu is going to cast Frostbite in front of her at the Golem. Okay. So he's going to need to make a con save. Yeah, because the Bane is still on there, too. Ooh, that's yeah, a that fail. Ele elemental Bane. Okay, he is going to take 5d6 of cold damage. Oof. Hot. That's going to be 17 cold damage total. Yes! Alright. And, um, she's gonna look around on the ground to see maybe, uh, like, in this stirring, if there's any pebbles or any rocks that have broken loose within her grasp. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say bones. that happened in an instant, and now it's stopped. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so there are pebbles on the ground, yes. Uh, I'm gonna pick some up, and I'm gonna use... Magic stone is a bonus action to toss some little stones at him too to add ankle to injury. <laughs> okay, what, what are you rolling to hit? Uh, it's a 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> That's 8 bludgeoning damage <laughs> from <laughs> my stones. Hitting hard. Alright, is that it? Yeah, that's the end of my turn. It's his turn. He is right now basically incapacitated to a point where he cannot... He's just exhausted from the haste. Seer. And he cold. Uh, yeah, he's cold. Seer, let's see. Uh, she is going to attack... This guy. Boom. With the flank. Care to shoot? Where are you? Ooh, with the flank. With the flank. I had it last time, you know, I still missed. So we're going to see what happens this time. A 16. That hits. Thank God. You talked too long. You're me stressed. Yeah, <laughs> I had to think about it. And that does 3d10 of acid damage. 17 points of acid damage as Seir bites into the back of this man. You bite my snake. 17? Yeah. Of acid damage? Acid. Okay. Whoa. Considering their seaweed also did acid damage, I'm yeah. guessing they're resistant. Bing, bing, bing. Zakai. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, I forgot I was still my turn. I was like, I'm waiting for it. Um, and that's it. Oh, wait, uh, uh, wait, it's still my turn. No, it's not. <laughs> 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 bonus so action. Turn. I cast Shillelagh. Then I end my turn. Okay, Thank item you. is lit up. This Murph of Caster, uh, they did it once, the other one did it twice. It's going to go this way, um, and cast haste. Or not, yeah, haste on this guy. And then it's the warrior's turn. He's going to run up to. He's going to run be or swim behind Seer because they're smart. It's a trident. What's your armor class? Oh, it's going to miss that first one, even with advantage. The second one's probably. 16. Gonna... Yeah, he second... makes a con save. All right, second one hits. You take six points of pierce damage. He makes a con save. Uh, what does he have to hit? Uh. 16? 16 is my DC. 18? Oh, he failed. 16 is my DC. Oh, 16? Yeah, he got it. Yeah. Okay. Then he just... Nothing happens to him. Nice. Arista. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use a bonus action to cast Healing Word on myself. Okay. And I'm to do that. At level 4, because why not? I've got it. Great. I'm going to take back 11 points. And then I'm going to... Um, since I am no longer concentrating on Bane, correct? 
Correct. Yeah, they're all gone. They're both gone. Just wanted to make sure because one is in the similar spot, but yeah. no dots. So I just want to make sure I'm keeping up with the enemies. Uh, I'm going to instead cast Crown of Madness. Oh. Uh-huh. Um, on. I want to do it on the golem, but I don't know if he like has a strength to do anything. <laughs> he does now. It was he just the effect of turn. haste, oh, okay. but in it, your subsequent turn. And I'm guessing his I'm gonna cast frostbite on him again, though. I'm just letting you know. Which is, his, it. Which is gonna break uh, it. Is his um reach ten feet instead of five? No, he's got five feet reach. Oh, okay. Just kidding. Well, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna cast it on uh this guy right here in the middle okay he needs to make a wisdom saving throw uh make it 11 that's a fail right yes it's a fail <laughs> he fails so this iron thorny crown sort of like pokes its way out of his head all around the scalp and his, his eyes just kind of go a little bit glassy and now uh, it needs to use its action before moving on each of its turns to make a melee attack against a creature that I choose. Ooh, who do you choose? Before moving? You're muted. Okay. Oh, sorry. Before like... moving. Before moving. Gotcha. All right. So, are we? My my then my next question is: Are we doing diagonal five? Would this guy be considered yes. within? Yeah, that's five feet. Great. Awesome. Uh, so... Staying there. Y- yeah, I'm kind of hidden. I'm good. Yeah, I was like, where are you? I was like, oh, there you are. I was like, all right. Okay, You'll Celia. Never know. Um, I'm going to do uh, two wild haymakers towards the golem again. Okay. Rolling at a disadvantage. Um, it's a bad thing. It's a, a nat 20 and a 15. I have to take the 15. No! <laughs> um... The second one is going to be a 20, a uh, dirty 20. Okay, that hits, yeah. Yeah, um, and that is going to be uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 points of bludgeoning magic damage. Um, and I'm going to attempt to grapple this guy Wrong. with my bonus action. Okay. Um, is right. that just like so that's contested yeah. strength? Yeah, go okay. ahead. Um, okay, just straight strength, and that is going to be a 16. 19. You failed. Ah, my <laughs> if I rolled with advantage, it would have been a 20. <laughs> Damn, next time, next that's time. the worst. All right, you want to move yeah. and give an attack of opportunity? Um. Got what? <laughs> no, I'll try, to, I'll try to keep him <laughs> right here. Okay, the warrior that has the crown of madness is going to turn towards that other warrior and make his attacks. Both of them will hit. It's going to do... You see the trident go stab into him as they're caught off guard and stare at them as they bite into their neck and scream. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Whose side are you on? For real. I don't know. Oof. That's... It looks so yummy. Still hanging on. I'm spreading a rumor about him being a traitor for sure. To all the other tribes. <laughs> He's with us. I'll turn him into a zombie after he dies. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll keep the narrative going. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. Right after this warrior, it, he's going to turn. Look at him. Um. Get him back. Get him back. Kill it. <laughs> and just look at Seer. Uh, oh is going God, to move five feet thinking Seer is the one doing this because they've been casting out eels. They're magical as fuck and they're going to take two attacks on you at advantage. 
and that is a trident to the shoulder and a bite for Ow. 14 points of piercing damage. And then before Mizu goes, the ground lights up again. Slightly... Not as bright. Actually, I'm too much. Just as bright. Everybody roll those throws again. We'll start with Arista. Dexterity? Dexterity. Oh, huh? 22! Perfect. You're going to take 12 points of damage. Uh, and roll a concentration um, check. For what? Uh, On the crown of madness. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm going... Uh, let's see. Hang on. I'm trying to see how many times that I can use uncanny dodge and it does not list a limit so i'm gonna oh, no, you uncanny can do it every dodge yeah. it's just and half that so how, how many points did you say you took 12 so uncanny from that six, six. okay and a concentration what is that what and, what what and, check do so i do con uh, constitution saving throw it's 10 or half the damage whichever is higher yeah, Constitution saving throw. The DC is ten currently. Yeah. Oh no! What'd you get? An eight. It knocks out of concentration. He is no longer crowned. The crown falls off his head. You dropped your crown. Ooh. We'll still spread the rumor. It's fine. I didn't even get it to make him attack anybody yet. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, no, he, he did. did. He did. He, he 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 attacked his friend. Oh, okay, good. Okay, Seer. <laughs> And then the guy thought I did it, and he attacked me. And I said, ow. Um, oh, that's what he thought you did. <laughs> wow. I'm good at listening. <laughs> um, Let's see. Since you want to point blame, I guess we can point blame. Seir kind of like looks at these three guys around her. Oh, no. oh wait, we're just looking for my my saving throw. That's what you're asking for, right? Not my yes. turn. Yes, yes. I rolled a 10. So okay. sorry. I was like, my turn. <laughs> 24 points of bludgeon. Or force, excuse me. Heard. Uh, Mizu. But I am ready for my turn, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Deck save, Mizu. Um, I am going to use um, Dark One's luck on this roll that I just Yes. Made. Nice. What does that do? Hurt. Uh, it gives me an extra d10. Ooh, nice. That's a four. <laughs> you got jet. Well, the C sisters are struggling. <laughs> Even with the ten, a fourteen does not succeed. That's twenty-four points of force damage and a concentration check on the bane, or is that for one turn? The element. Uh, no, oh, it's element. for a minute. Oh, it's for a minute. So yes, you're still concentrating on bane. Make that check. That was a nine. <laughs> Oof. Do you I'm try? Not concentrating either. How much damage was it? Um, it was 24, so the DC was a 12. Yeah, I'm not okay. Okay, he just lost, lost the bane. The bane. Um, Celia. Dexterity. Hold another three. 10. 24 points of force damage. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, boy! And it's Big Golem's turn with, um, haste still. Oh, actually, no. I gotta do the other people. Uh, let me roll hers. Ooh, she failed that, so the TC is high. Uh, but she still succeeds. He's still hasted. Um, this guy has been damaged a lot. He dies. So this thing has been more helpful than anything. Yeah, it does do a fuck ton of damage, and we haven't hit points in them, so it's a matter of time, honestly. <laughs> but the rest are still kicking. Um, but they all look pretty weak. I'll say that. Except, yeah. Um, and here, so let's see. Alright. It's his turn. He is going to take one hit on Celia. It's a miss. A second hit. Second hit will connect so that's going to be oh, that's not bad seven points okay of... I still I'm st I still have my 10th HP okay and then he's going to turn for that second attack and hit Mizu or sorry he took two attacks on you 
now he's taking his other turn on Mizu, who is, and that is a hit with the trident. Oh, with the trident? No, that, not the trident. That's his hands. That's right. That's oh no! Can oh, I add this to my Mizu lucky. death count? That is uh. five <laughs> points of damage. Oh my god! I was about to pee myself. <laughs> oh, don't tell me what you have. I love the mystery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Seer's turn. Um, Seer is going to. Oh my goodness. Um, target her self, and she is going to envelop herself and the two guys on each side of her in um, death and decay, but also with a nice like hinge of like it's like seaweeds with like blossoms on it, and they need to make me a Constitution saving throw. Which one? Uh, the two, both guys next to me. Oop. Constitution oh saving throw. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm one got a nat 20, and the other got a 19 plus something. Wither and Bloom, so they're going to take half damage. Uh... Where my dice go? Hello. They take eight points of necrotic damage each. The one in between you and Mizu dies. Perfect. And then I regain hit points. <laughs> Equal to what? Uh, it's 3d8. So they take 5d6 worth of damage, and I'm taking three. And I get to use three of my hit dice because I upcast the spell. Okay. And so I get 15 points of healing back. Oof. And, and that we'll is the end of my turn. Okay. Um. Celia. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hmm. Do I have advantage on attack? Like, yeah. are we? Are we? Okay. Cool, she would have cool. to be at this top left corner, or any of those That's four you. That's spaces you. at the top. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm going to. I, I hear that low. Hand. Yes, <laughs> I'll just I'll just attack again. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to do the same exact thing I did last time. <laughs> okay. Um. So two wild haymakers. Um. The first one is a eighteen to hit, and the second one is a natural one. Uh, eighteen hits. Okay. Um. That is gonna be. 19 uh, bludgeoning magic damage. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to attempt to grapple them again. Okay. Um, let me roll it. I also love you wrestling with this golem. Okay, I got a 17. I got an 18. Oh, it's grappled! Yes! Okay, awesome. Um, and I used my bonus action to, to grapple them, so that that that's me. Okay. Um, the uh, merfolk caster, or the one beside Seer, is going to go for the old stab. But not flanked this time. Uh, trident goes through, bite misses, so that's going to be um, eight he points. He needs to make a constitution saving throw. Con save. Got a. Yeah, 14. That's a fail. He Ooh. takes. Just a. D6 of necrotic damage as invisible bugs start to bite at him. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. Gross. I don't like him. Insect. A single point of damage. Oh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that, he says. Gross. In and even that Eldritch Blast at the beginning, I get it. I got it. I right, got it. Arista. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cast Healing Word as a bonus action on um, Mizu. Okay. And I actually I need to not stop forgetting that I do have high, higher level spell slots, so I'm going to cast it at 5th level, and you can have 13 points. Thank you so much. A you welcome. big heal to Mizu. And then I'm going to use my action action to take another shot at the golem. Actually, actually no, I'm just going to... Oh, I'm not on the right tool. I'm going to attack this guy. Okay. Uh, with my spear gun. Alright, let's see it. Oops, that's just the damage. 
and it gets the sneak Ooh, attack. Nat 20! Nat 20! <laughs> Alright, roll this damage. This could do it. And it does. Okay, so um, I rolled damage. that damage, which was 8. And let me roll the sneak attack as well. Also, ma- you're going to do so much damage because it's max. Like, you're doing... Like, what's, max- the ma- what's the damage sneak. dice? Because the damage dice max might kill him alone. Is her damage dice max and also her sneak attack max because she's a rogue. That's right. So like, yeah. She's, what's this? So doing? I'm up to. I'm. I, I mean, I'm up to 34 points of damage. It's already. dead. He's dead. Describe how you kill him. <laughs> yeah. I. <laughs> I just really mad and like you don't even see me. I'm just peeking through these like sleeves of seaweed <laughs> and it just. Like right he's casting the these bells. <laughs> I he's imagine still- that he's like r- trying to figure out what's happening, and he's going after Seer, and it just comes in from the back of the head and right out his right eye. <laughs> <laughs> As he falls over, you just see Seer winking. She's like, ah, she, that passive perception. She knows who did it. So, okay, okay, are you Kelly. moving at all? <laughs> no. All right, Celia. <laughs> I saw that crown of madness. Cool. Um. So I've got my boy grappled. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some attacks. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm. Oh boy! I wish I didn't say what I said about the wild Jamaica thing. It sort of <laughs> bit me in the ass. Um, Look, cool. you don't have to stick to it. You're allowed to. Change I'm your going mind. to. I'm going to because <laughs> Julie is really angry at the moment. I don't think that she's really like looking. I don't think I, she's swinging wildly in a rage. At the moment, um, an barbarian area, if you will. Yeah, the uh, the first one is going to be a sixteen to hit. That misses. Okay, the second one is going to be a twenty to hit, a oh. dirty twenty. Oh yeah. Um, and so that's going to be nineteen points of bludgeoning magic damage. Um, I'm going to uh, expend a moxie point to do uh, two more uh, attack rolls, and they're going to be the same thing. And these are all these are all kidney punches. Um, the is a fourteen for the for the third one, and then for the fourth one, that is going to be another fourteen. Describe he's how you kill him, and he's peeing blood. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! You hold him and punch him to death. What does it look like, my friend? Um, well, I'm going like right for the kidneys, and then at, uh, uh, you know after after that third one, starting to get a little bit soft, and so she it's an open hand punch goes right into where the kidneys are. She just, like, tears that guy out. She's like, how are you going to filter your blood now, man? That's not what kidneys do. What am I saying? <laughs> okay. I don't know anatomy. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, before, um, because this background is gone, we already did it. Um, now that it's Mizu's turn, it happens one more time. I will go ahead and roll the damage you guys, bye Mizu. Roll we your love next you. saving throws. I rolled another ten. I'm gonna scream. Hey chat. Um, <laughs> I need to wake up and send some things. Thank you. Y'all got any of the main player advantages? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, dexterity saving throw? Is that what I'm rolling? Yeah, dex saving yeah. throw. I missed my wisdom saves, honestly. Uh. You too. What about you, Arista? Fourteen. Ooh, that is four fails. Everyone Just takes twenty four um, points. I got a, I got a twenty one. Oh, you, Celia saves. Okay, yeah. Celia, you will take twelve. Everyone else will take twenty four. <laughs> th- I think I'll take twelve too. 24? Okay, you're gonna minus with the. Uh, was it cutting action? Un- uncanny dodge. Uncanny dodge. Yeah. Okay. So you cutting take action is how, is how I haste. Main player advantage. Who are the people that failed? Has Those been three. redeemed. Oh my god! Please I'll, let me have I'll it. Give it I'm dead Mizu if I don't have it. Yeah, good. give it to me too. And also he re- so that was mostly harmless. And also he redeemed. Um, um, a player finds a way to regain health. <laughs> so Yay! Either, but either well, way, we're gonna we be found okay. a way. We have this seaweed. We can bust. We can open. find. We can find more. Way. Hey, he's been really points. We're gonna find a better, more immediate one. <laughs> a bigger <laughs> plant. <laughs> um. All right, Mizu, what is that second roll? Ooh. Hey! You two take 12. Does that kill you? No, I'm alive. By how much? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's my girl. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, that's funny. Uh, Remember this on Tuesdays. Yeah, come spend Ruta points in our game, y'all. 
<laughs> okay, the other one survives. I got 11k uh. already. Oh, sorry, my map. My map, no! Okay, my what? map has glitched. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was like, what happened? Anyways, <laughs> um, so it, before Mizu goes, you hear her, uh, the lady holding um, Vinfira through the tentacle wall. You cling to your feeble hopes and misguided alliances, believing you can thwart the inexorable march of the Shadow Sirens. But know this, Princess is a Vizier. Every swing of your pathetic weapon, every incantation muttered in desperation, only hastens Ventfira's demise. And goes to swim away and turns back. The Death Book, a relic of Bruntoro's creation craves the final entry in its grim ledger. And who better to grave its pages than the head of the princess who dared defy the shadows? And I swims said, away. As she, she gets uh, far off through, those tentacles fall down and the shield goes down. It is now open, but she is super far down this cavern. Chasing her, but so Blue Cassie redeemed questions. a random problem. Huh? So there's that. Who Blue Cassie redeemed a random problem. <laughs> Once again, he's okay. back. <laughs> All right, I got the random problem ready. Mizu, we you get to go chat first. up and they started fucking with us. Huh? You get to go first. It's your turn. There is that merfolk caster that's there, looking abandoned and alone. Yeah, absolutely yeah. not. I'm misty stepping over to Arista. Okay, perfect. Our poor map is gone. And if I'm in those, I'm in that little brush thing that she is in too. Then I'm getting. Any, can I, am I getting any healing from that? No, you have to hit them. Oh, okay. Oh, you can use your and action, you bonus I... action to teleport. And also, T Nasty is also redeemed. A player finds a way to gain health. To gain health. <laughs> oh We're God. stacking now. We're stacking. <laughs> this is what I'll do. Because that was two more uh, get a health, and because the first one was when it was your turn, and the second one's when you're doing something again, um, while that's happening, that, that sigil sequence on the ground continues to, like, stop going so bright kind of lessening and the water is kind of moving out of the way uh kind of the whirlpool stopping mm -hmm. you see, see her fly off with Vinfira, and when you heard that word death book your insides almost like turn to magma you hear that voice that you hadn't heard in a few days after his day out kind of appear from the back what did she say you're going to regain 30 health as he's going to crawl out of your mouth it's also a random problem. Hey. Okay, <laughs> we love it. <laughs> two for one. It's a two no, for no, one. I mean like that could be. I yes. don't mean that there's another this one. This is good because in <laughs> your level one. up, because of what happened and you were able to retrieve him, you are now going to gain a boon. He, While he's crawling out, he's going to tell you in quick monologue form that Bruntoro was livid that he escaped. He is not allowed to leave. He found wiggle room in the Book of Shadows to get out. However, he killed lots of people at the Colosseum in Yarmouth, and Bruntoro liked that. So Bruntoro will let him have a little bit time out if he's with you. So this is the boon you will gain. Once a day, you out. can summon Voskar out of your mouth. And you can choose between three things, but only one thing during that time. And he can only be out for an hour. Once you use it, you got to take a long rest. The take first thing is... He can counterspell a magic spell and then go back. The second thing is he can possess one person at the in that hour of time. And then the third thing is he can heal you 30 health. So he's got to pick one of those and you can only summon for and he can last an hour. So you can like summon him and he can hang out and then you're like, hey, by the way, this is the thing I wanted. And we're Is calling this, thing? it was the possession. healing, possession, and possession. Yeah, Counter spell. he can possess one person for the time he's there. So I, you optimally want to use that. All right. You got that written down? Okay. You took your turn. It is Seer's turn. Everyone does um. notice it crawled out of her mouth. And then back into it? Oh, oh wait, can I, can I speak to him real fast before my turn ends, technically? Yes, yes. you heal when he comes out. You can only make a short thing, because he just took up your whole turn talking. Isn't your mouth busy? Uh, but the second, second he spits out, she, like, coughs a little bit. 
Oh, nice to hear from you. Three days no contact. Wow, what's that about? Well, if I knew the breath was going to be this bad, it would have taken longer. Please, kiss my ass. Mm, I can see it. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Seer makes an attack. Did I, what did I roll here? Oh, dang it! I rolled a 10, but I'm moving towards this caster yeah. who was, I, I attacked. Um, and just, things are in my way, sorry. Uh, how far can I go? Um, and she's gonna heading that way, and towards the the thicket that just came down. You know, she's in pursuit still. Um, but yeah, makes makes an attack. It misses. End of turn. Uh, okay, she is going to turn around and fucking dash. She has a forty foot swimming speed, so she's going to go uh, eighty feet <laughs> in towards that tunnel. You you guys, I will give it up to Arista. And everyone else to determine if we're still in turn order. If it gets back to her and you have not done anything, if you want to stay, turn will be over. If not, you can follow. You can chase after if you want. Our map's disappeared, so... Mm-hmm. What? Theater of the mind. Um, Theater of the green, if you will. Arista. Uh, I guess I'm just... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna shoot at her with my spear gun. Okay, she <laughs> That's is. What I'm gonna do. She is. How like, far away is she? She is. Where she is plus eighty, so she is sixty-five. She is one hundred and forty-five feet away. That's okay. My spear gun has a range of three hundred and twenty feet. What is it? Casual. Is it, casual. Is, it usually is a slash. It was like one hundred three fifty. What is it? Eighty to three twenty. Okay, so up to eighty, you can do eighty to three fifty is at disadvantage, and you can't go past three fifty. That's what that means. So you have okay. disadvantage. Because it's so gotcha. far. Okay. That's fine. Because why not? <laughs> I was always confused at that for the longest time. I was like, why would yeah. I ask the lesser <laughs> option? <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. You never know. Go. Mouse. Go. Oh, I only got a 12. That's her armor class. <laughs> I was going to say, she kind of That's her armor oh, class. Oh, shit. How much oh, damage? I meant about the 10 on mine. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's four points of piercing damage. Ooh, that's, okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you she has one left. Was, oh, man. Oh, I was so like, close. Ah, like swimming through. Um, she I, seemed, yeah. I could have had a second kill, and all I've done is hide in the bushes. <laughs> you were so yeah. close. I've been so keeping close. track. <laughs> I didn't get any of this going, so sad. I knew you guys were counting. Arista wouldn't count though. That's my the, count. the water killed most people. To be to be fair, the water did <laughs> kill most people. Okay. Um, the only person who got kills this round was uh, Celia. All right, so and I gave you okay. two for the gold. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I put her on a silver platter for you. Somebody finish her off. Um, Celia can't really do anything right now, but she is going to run and dash after them, um, which would go up to what sixty feet. Um, and then she's going to use a moxie point to dash again, um, as a bonus action, so and continue. I call you moxie. What's yeah. your movement, regularly? Uh, 30 feet. So okay, that would be 60. 90 feet in total. 90 feet? Okay. Um. You acting like our sister. It's damn, crazy. okay, so you're actually in hot pursuit, reasonably. We have attachment issues, I don't know if you know that. Um, uh, you're yeah. reasonably within 20 feet. You see she's moving towards where in the ca- there's cave walls that are turning more stone and there's seaweed and plants growing on the inside. It's this murky green. And she's ducking into this like side crevice that seems to have an archway with um, vines. It looks like a smaller little room within these caves. That's where she's, she's right at the doorway. And her next turn, she'll be going in. All right, Mizu. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, three Eldritch Blasts on the last uh, one that's standing to see if we can... What's sauce. the range on that? 120. Uh, 120. Ooh. So you can't have to move, but you can get you can probably uh-huh. get close. Yeah. Yeah. You, you get closer, and well, then you can. She's do not it. actually that. She's uh, farther away yeah, than she's, that. Yeah, that plus 80. A 21, yeah. a 15, and a 14. All hit. You kill her. She falls dead right in that door. That caveway. Combat, Combat is now over. 
I got one. I guess I gotta write that down, don't I? Dang. I will say <laughs> that person, that witch, that whatever, and Vinfira are gone. She was awfully cocky for the fact that we just killed a lot of her people. Mm -hmm. I can see why they call her a siren. She just that does not shut up. I mean, it's um, just like I said at the beginning of the fight, she's just fucking overcompensating. That's what they do. How's everyone looking? Because I do want to kick her ass and get my sister back. Or are we all okay? I'm bleeding, but like, are we all okay? I'm bleeding a lot. Celia, so. yeah. it, you can hear, see her yelling at you, but you're way down the cave. And actually... She's, like, screaming down that cave, you know, hundred and something feet away, but you can actually hear a voice closer um, yelling to be, let out, let me out, let me out. Within Yeah, that... I'm gonna go towards that. Yeah, I'm still swimming are. behind. Okay, so you're swimming up. As you get inside, you see, um, it seems, there's, it's almost like a, a storage with boxes and, and crates and, like, different parts of shipwrecks and hanging on the wall there is a giant strawberry that's hanging by like in a, a net that has arms and a legs and like eyes and it looks dead like it's oh. sentient and there is a yeah oh no let's keep going and there <laughs> is a um like looks like a pastry with a cherry on top it looks like cherries on top maybe a cherry pie or something and it's got these two eyes and it its eyes are open and dead and it's got these like stubby arms and these long legs, and they're up on the wall. And as you kind of get closer, you see around the room, there are lots of different of these food folk dead on the wall in storage. Dead. And on the other side of the room is this big, tall, rectangular shape. And there's like this like veiled cloth over it that's kind of moving with the water in the room. That got, And you hear some like rattling. Who's there? Mizu's gonna um, speak up if nobody else yeah. does. She's gonna say, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Hell no, we need to get out of here. Do you guys not remember everything that Henry was dreaming about? This is exactly it, right? Like, no, 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 this is not right. Okay, everyone's there well, now. technically, uh, we were yeah. in danger of Fufok attacking us, and they don't seem like they can attack us, so I think this is actually pretty clear. I mean, I wouldn't be so sure. What if they're, like, playing dead? Pokes one. Yes, Arista? Ah! Uh, I just, I didn't want to interrupt the whole flow, but since Arista swims really fast, she would have taken a moment to get, grab some of that seaweed. Okay, oh, perfect. Oh, All right, so that's it. what you're doing right now. Great. All right, continue the back one. to the scene, and we're going to imagine Arista's just getting as much as she can. Cool. Yeah, I kind of I poke in it. Uh, I poke the dead food folk. Perhaps this is just an enemy of our enemy. Maybe we can stop the food folk problem if we fix this problem. Be like, hey, we found some of your people. You don't have to attack us now. Or maybe this is why they want to attack us. Because merfolk. And olivine. And I'm, fuck shit. I mean, I'm just... I don't like the vibe. You know you know me. It's all about the vibe for me. Just the, the merfolk and Eudothia and out there's food folk here. And, and we're barely even inside. I just... Something doesn't feel right. Wait. Are you not having fun? I mean, I am, but like... Oh, because this has been like, I have been waiting for this. Like, I am in my zone. Like, minus Vin Fear being taken away, but like, oh, I wanted, I wanted to hit something for so long. So, I think this is very my vibe. And so, I, I can understand why you may feel a little out of place. Just stand behind me. You've been doing great, mm -hmm. though. Arisa's going to swim in and say, all right, who needs... Oh, my God. I'm taking many... a shit ton, for sure. How how much was I able to harvest? Scott? Give them to, to you to. because those whirlpools destroyed a lot of them. You're gonna get gain fifteen herbal seaweeds, and they each do one d four. Okay. Before 15. battle, if you designate them, I'll let you bunch them up so they can be destroyed together, so they're stronger. But individually, the seaweed wow. strands you have fifteen that are each a d four, and I'll let you decide how you bushel them up or whatever. But they have to be destroyed. Okay. Um, well, I, uh, I need a lot. Who else needs a lot? You need a lot? Um, I could use a lot. Yeah, I will heal myself. Okay, then I'm going to let you guys disseminate those. Yeah. Five each. So, I'm going to go ahead and destroy them all. 
Same. Because yeah. I don't know what's yeah. ahead or when we're going to be able to rest. All right. Mm -hmm. Who's destroying how many? I'm destroying all five. Okay. I'll go ahead and do the same. Okay, cool. Uh, roll five D fours. I got twelve total. Nice. Same. Okay, average. 14. Yeah, there you go. All right. Um, also, everyone gained two thousand experience points. That'll put you at eighty-seven thousand. How many experience points? I'm so sorry. You're at eighty-seven. You got two thousand. Put you 2, at eighty-seven thousand. You're thirteen thousand away from another level up. Perfect. Um, I'm casting um, uh, Healing Spirit, which will be out for a minute and does 3d6 of uh, healing. And if people need some healing after that, I can pass some of this along um, mm -hmm. just so they are aware. So this a little tentacle, sea like a little seaweed comes up and has like a little bloom that's around me, but it's just kind of floating behind me. And the ear is kind of like being fed by it. Ah, <sighs> She's just walking. Um, so yeah, but I, I want to... That's what's happening as we're having this conversation. But mm -hmm. she also does want us to. <laughs> All right, can we walk and talk? I don't, you know. This is sissies. your game. Let's go. Uh, this is your vibe. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mia's uh, definitely I... swimming right on Seer too. Like as soon as Seer said to get behind me, she's right on, like almost on her. As you guys are in there talking about the food folk, uh, you st you just keep hearing this voice from behind this square object with cloth on it, being like. Hello? Hello? Like, why you oh, guys are hi. talking? Yes. Arissa's gonna run <laughs> scamper up to it. Can we help with okay. hood? Can we pull, like, the hood yeah, off? Yeah, as you pull the cloth off, it's a big cage where you see inside is this merfolk with bright red hair who does not look very similar to those other mer merfolk, except she also has a tail. Um, and you see on the cage on the inside, there are, like, spikes pointing towards her that are like magical and she's just like could you let me out oh my what are you doing in there <laughs> that's a long story and that's where we're gonna end here tonight and we'll Very come cool. back for episode 23 and meet whoever this merfolk is <laughs> perfect can i just ask for the just for this spell i do have three more little charges of this healing does anyone need them oh yes Perfect. Roll 3d6, Erica. Roll 3d6, Meg. Andrew, do you need any more hit points? Are you okay? I mean, I, I can take some, but... Take them. Um, um, I healed for like 34. So. Okay. Well, I, I have one more left, so... Also, don't forget, you can, you can take a short rest and use hit dice, but you will risk staying in the same spot in this... Um, we literally Hostile don't have zone. the time to sit still. Scott, just how dare you that. gaslight us? Mm -mm. How dare you say? Oh, you sit down and chill if you want. <laughs> <laughs> we met this new girl. We're trying to hang out at her cage for an hour. Yeah, you guys are gonna be like, you come on, let's do this. <laughs> what, am, what am I rolling for healing? A three d six. All right, cool. All right, we're moving up. The first stage of this crazy Eudothia is here. All right, thank you guys for playing. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching at this point, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the story. We'll see you next time, and check out Into the Expanse on Tuesdays at 7 o'clock. All right, bye, guys. Let's have a good night. See you. Bye. Guys.